Hey guys, it is Michelle, and today I'm doing what's in my train case. This kind of changes depending on what makeup I'm using throughout the different seasons, and I am trying on fakes today. I don't know how I feel about them, though. They're kind of different for me. I've done them a few times before, but I haven't really... Comment down below what do you think. I don't really know. They're really, really crazy big. They're not what I'm normally... So I feel a little self-conscious about that right now. I feel like... I, I don't feel like myself. But, um... Let me know down below what you think of the false look. I know a lot of girls rock it. I just wanted to try it out to see how I felt about it. Maybe if I got something a little bit less in your face. But they looked pretty in the package, so I got them. And I'm not sure how I feel. It took me forever to get these things on. I'm not very good with falsies. But anyway, now that we're done with that. But this is my train case. It is a caboodles. Who doesn't have a caboodles? And it has my, my, well, my original name here on YouTube was Dragon Princess. And that is my... But it was my first seller name when I started making jewelry. So that is what's on my train case. And we're just gonna open it up. It's kind of a mess inside. I ain't gonna lie. See? So we're just gonna go from one end to the other. Now, the one side of my case is all Milani. I love their big shadows so much. Let me. I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, this one, it took me forever to find it, and I still haven't used it. But this one is called Green Fortune. And it's got this real, it's got pink, blue, and green in it. I've never even opened it. I gotta try this this uh, season. But I looked everywhere. I actually got this while I was on vacation. Look how pretty that is. I don't remember what I paid for, but I really wanted this color, and I finally picked it up, and I still haven't used it. Next is Shamrock. This is a backup, because I'm actually using one of these right now. Um, I paid $5.49 at CVS for it. This is gorgeous. I totally recommend doing these wet. The intensity of these colors is amazing. I'll use them dry as a highlight color, but these, what you see is what you get when you use them wet. Absolutely amazing. Milani makes a great baked um, eyeshadow, and I totally recommend it. It's got this little shimmer, and the shimmer is throughout. A lot of um, eyeshadows are not, but these ones are. And that was called Shamrock. This one is called Silver Charm. I got. I don't know where I bought this one, but it was also $5.49. I'm guessing I bought it at CVS. I'm not sure who else carries it, but that's where I normally get them from. Let me open it. Holy cow, what a mess in here. As you can see, I've used it. Very pretty. I must use these wet. But this is a very nice accent color dry. I love, my, they're one of my favorites. Now, this is actually my third, I think. I think I've gone through two of these. This is called Royalty, and I haven't opened this one yet. This is really pretty pink with a blue shimmer in it. It's very unusual color. Looking forward to wearing that this spring as well. Very nice. This one, I've never opened. It's called Blackout because I do have colors very similar to this, but when I found it, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? It's beautiful. I haven't used it. Woohoo! I haven't used it yet um, because I have colors very, very similar to this color. And I want to use those first. But very pretty. It's blackout. This one is called Blue Lagoon. And I do like using blues because I have blue eyes. Look at that. Really, really nice. If you, when you want a dramatic look, I use that one. This one, I've killed one of these already. This is Bronze Doll, and I know I've talked to you guys about this color before. Now this one is open. Oh, I have used a little bit of this one. But I know that this isn't the first one I have used. Look at that color, guys. It's really, really nice. I guess you can even use it as a, uh, a bronzer. It's a gorgeous color. I really like this. And I know I got this one at CVS, too. And then the last one is called Coffee Shop. I don't know if I've used this. If I have, it's been a while. And it looks like I might have swatched it at one point. But I don't think I've actually used this color. But that is a very nice dark brown. i got to use this one. I haven't used it. Now next on the same side, in a little drawer underneath it, I just bought this. This is a Sally Girl in black brown. Because I wanted to put this. Because I use bronzers as eyeshadows. And a friend of mine recommended me to use a brown shadow underneath the bronzer just because it makes it pop more so i took our advice and i tr i'm going to try it even though i haven't yet 
Next is this 2-in-1 lip color by New York Color, and this is in the Hot Pinks. This is really weird because, as you can see, it's two different colors on here. Now, I've mixed them together. I've used one color or the other. I've even done, like, the one lip a different color than the other. That doesn't go very well where I live. They think you're incredibly weird. I've tried the fad. Um, where I live, I can't do it. Maybe if I was, like, in a club or something like that. I mean, I think in most places people would look at you weird for having two different colored lips, but I tried it. I rocked it. I'll do anything at least once, but I live in a very small town, and they they don't really... I'm a transplant, as they call it, because I wasn't from here, but um, they think I'm weird anyway, so I'm going out with different colored lips. Like, this is actually a little too bright for the town. I'm wearing Nicki Minaj's Viva Glam, because I'm not sure how I feel about the color on me, though. So between this and this, I'm like... I'm a little crazy today, but anyway. Now next I have two of the lip butters from Revlon. Amazing. Um, I did a swap with somebody a while ago, and this is what they, one, some of the items that they did in the swap. And this one is in Sweet Tart, which I haven't used yet, but very pretty color. These are great for summer because they're very moisturizing, and the colors are um, a light tint, so they're very pretty. This is Candy Apple. I haven't tried this one yet either. So I'm hoping it's not too dark. But that's a very nice color. Very good for this season, I think. Next I have... I do prefer lipsticks over lip glosses, though. I just like the way they look better. And I don't worry, like, if the wind's blowing, and, like, there's nothing more gross than lip gloss with your hair. Ugh, I hate it. Anyway, let's move on. So this one... These are by Maybelline. I'm not sure which collection these are from. But we're just going to get into it. This is called Brazen Berry. I love this color. I'm not sure how it's going to look on me, though. I got a lot of experimenting to do this season. Love the color, though. Because I've never done a purple lip before. I've always done pinks or taupes or browns. You know, neutralies. Well, this is not neutral, but you know what I'm saying. But um, that's going to be interesting. I can't wait to try that one. I have, I did have a lip gloss, but that's for another video. We'll talk about that one. This one is, sorry guys, sinuses. Um, Shocking Coral. I don't know if I've used this one, but this is a color that I would, um, I would use. Actually, it's not coming up true to color at all on here. Um, well, it's a little better when you compare it to my lip. This is going to be fun though. Now that spring's finally coming, I get to use some of these fun colors. Um, and this is Pink Pop. Again, if anybody knows the name of this collection, I don't know it. I'm sorry. It doesn't say anywhere on here. And this one. Oh, I might wear this for Easter. Look. It's a really pretty color. It's a pale color. Actually, this reminds me of a Lime Crime one that I saw Pink Sparkles wear that was really pretty. Oh my god, that girl's so gorgeous. Oh, I love her. Okay, we're going to do the middle in a minute and this is starting to get long so we might be doing this in like four parts but we're going to attempt this so now we're going to do this other side i got here golden sunrise i like these singles from covergirl they're really good my one that i'm using right now is steely blue which is really pretty it's very similar to the color i'm wearing which is max um what's it called hard thunder something that it's one of the dimensional colors but it's very similar to that but i do love using neutrals and mixing them and this one, I said, it's Golden Sunrise. It's just a really pretty gold. I tend to go towards metallic-y neutrals. I love those because they really make your eyes pop. This one is Champagne. This is actually one of the first colors I wore when I started wearing makeup. And I always keep a backup of this. I haven't used this in a while, though. But this was the color I rocked throughout high school. I haven't seen it recently, though. So I'm not sure if they still make Champagne. But it's... A very shimmery, it's champagne. It's a very pretty, um, light taupe color. So if you can find it, try this out. This is a great color, especially, like, if you're just starting out with makeup, if you just like neutrals in general, or if you're looking for a really nice highlighter, this is good. And these little singles, um, they're under $3, I think, and sometimes you can find a dollar off coupon in the Sunday paper. So, definitely worth it. And this, I know, is discontinued. It's called Make a Sheen, and this is a showstopper copper. This is a... Oh, it is a eyeshadow. That's weird enough. Um, I didn't think it was. I thought for some reason that this was a um, 
bronzer. I don't know why, but I have used it. I used to use this one when I worked for the Elvis show, but look at this. I used to mix them, as you can tell, because they're slightly mixed, but very pretty. I, the middle was obviously my favorite color. I don't remember what collection this came from, though. It's, it's been, I've had this a lot longer than I probably should have, but it's really pretty. I really need to start using uh, Ombre Luster Showstopper Copper. I do not remember this collection, guys. I truly apologize. Sorry. So next I have, and I've never opened this one. This is called Magic Dust from Victoria's Secret. It's still in the package. I got this color at one of the semi-annual sales, so more than likely this is discontinued. Um, it don't, it looks better outside the package than in it, but it's just a glittery green. Haven't used it because I have a lot of other, um, oh, shadows that are similar to this. And I haven't gotten to this one yet. It's really nice. Next is Silver Dust, which is very similar to Champagne. I love shimmers. I'm a shimmer girl. Very pretty. This one is Night Dust. This one, I'm not incredibly crazy about. It's got shimmer in it. However, the intensity of this color, it's not intense. So you're going to have to put like a black, um, something black underneath it to make it more intense because it is not intense like I had hoped it to be. But, eh. You know, use it for something. Mm -hmm. These I adore. You guys know my love for high intensity pigments. Um, I actually wore the pink one the other day, but I do not have the pink one here. This one is Unashamed. This is the a high intensity pigment pot. I forget the name of the actual pots, but you'll see them. I get these at CVS. It's a very pretty pinky gold color. It's kind of like a rosy gold. These are very, very intense. If you really want like a bright eye, you gotta try these. And they come with brushes. This was my first one. This is called Intrigue. It's a brown with a green luster to it. Gorgeous color. This is what made me fall in love with the line. Look at that. It's gorgeous, guys. I love this color. Strongly recommend this color. Amazing. And I actually paid 50 cents for this one. This is what got me started in it. And um, because it was missing the box or something like that. So I bought it and I've loved it ever since. It's amazing. And this one is Valiant. And this is a purpley blue with like a pink undertone. It's more of a blue with a purple undertone in it. Very, very pretty. Like I said, I love these colors when I want something very, very loud and bright. These are amazing. I'm going to finish this row, and then we're going to go do part two. So these, again, were in another swap. Um, this color is... Um, it just says number 335. It doesn't tell me the actual color. But this is very similar to Steely Blue that I absolutely love. There's that one. This one is in the color 330. And 330 is another really nice shimmery brownie. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Hold on, guys. <coughs> you gotta love allergies, don't you? Anyway, so that's like a nice brown shimmery color. I have a lot of colors that are very similar. Does anybody else do that? I'm sure you do. I think every girl does. They're like, oh, I love this color. And they buy and they already own like three just like it. So, I love, love hard candy. Ooh, we're getting a lot longer than I thought. Um, we're going to do part two in a minute, guys, because we're getting to the 15-minute mark. See you in the next one.